a sweet science to boxing the there's a sweet science to boxing the The best and the coolest thing about my career is called the sweet science. There's a sweet science to boxing the It's to hit and not get hit. Let's get to it. So they came out with the undercard for Canelo versus Jaime Mangia on May the 4th. And to be honest with you, I wasn't really digging it, given the fact that I didn't see Jerome Boost in his own there. And you know what's funny is that the guys that they said that he could have fought, they are going to be fighting. So Michael Benson tweeted, and this is what the undercard says. Mario Barrios versus Fabian Maidana. Then you got Stani Odins fighting somebody named Gabriel Maestro. Now, these two guys are some of the guys that could have fought Boots Ennis. And I know Boots Ennis also got a mandatory versus Cody Crowley, but they were not even official just yet. But the one that they was talking about the most was Mario Barrios, who was supposed to have been fought him, but he had a baby or something, so he pulled out of the fight. Okay, but now you are able to fight again his time and he's had with his baby mama whoever she is so he spent time with them now he come back into negotiations but you go and fight somebody else what kind of shit is that you don't continue negotiating with boots i mean i can understand if boots already had a fight lined up or something but he ain't got no fight lined up from what i've seen or from what i know now like i say i know they was talking about stanley Onis, and i know that they was talking about crowley but those are not official either then they said that Boots was going to be on the first ever non-pay-per-view Amazon PBC event. I don't know what that event is going to be called just yet, but it's going to be non-pay-per-view. Okay, but who he's going to be fighting, though? That's the thing. Because for a long time, I thought it was going to be Mario Barrios. But apparently, he came back into negotiation with somebody else. I mean, how silly is that? Everybody ducking that smoke from Boots. And I don't blame him. He's the essence of what I talk about when I talk about the sweet science. He's the essence. He's the person who truly understands what it is to hit and not get hit without all the hugging, Hitchens, without all the running, Shakira. And you know what? I ain't even trying to come at those guys like that because Shakira has always been real good, but his last performance was trash. Sorry. And Hitchens also was good, but his last performance was trash. And listen, I ain't trying to make it seem like I'm smarter than anybody. I never said that I'm smart. I never said that I know more than everybody. I never said nothing like that. I never came on here and tried to act like that I know more than this person and that person don't know anything and this person don't know nothing. No, I've never done that. And I never will be that type of person. But I can tell you what I want. I can tell you that I want to see Boots in the ring again. That don't mean that I'm somebody who thinks that I know way more than everybody when it comes to boxing. Of course I don't. I think everybody can learn something new every day. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do know what I want to see. And I do want to see Boots back in the ring if somebody just uh, set up the fight. You even got Conor Ben out here acting like that he's going to fight Boots Ennis. He put this on his Instagram. But honestly, I don't, I don't really believe Conor Ben. I don't know if he's really going to fight him. I honestly wouldn't even want Boots to fight Conor Ben because I think it would be a domination. But Conor Ben just ain't on his level. And I wouldn't want to see that. I don't, I, listen, I don't think Mario Body is on his level. To be honest with you. But I think Barrios would have came with a better fight than Conor Ben. So in my opinion, this undercard is okay. It's mid at most. But the fact that I don't see Boots on here, you know, it kind of suck. And then for all we know, Boots could be on the undercard for Tank. Who, who knows? Maybe he's going to fight in June. And maybe he'll be on the undercard for Tank. If he's on the undercard for Tank, then I'll be happy. Because that card is already going to be fire. I mean, you got Tank... Then you got David Benavidez. And then if you guys throw Boots in there, oh, man. Oh, yes. That event going to sell big time. I can tell you that right now. If you got Tank, David Benavidez, then you throw Boots in there, definitely. So, since he ain't going to be on the Canelo's undercard, that's cool. I hope that we end up seeing him on the Tank Davis versus Frank Martin undercard at least. 